Hello, I'll be going through the uh, uh, Neo Four J sandbox. So the for the we uh for the weekly coding practice, and uh, uh we uh, we start with the uh, the Neo Four J sandbox from where we uh we choose the recommendations project and then we open it using the browser option, which is going to take you to our browser option where through multiple uh, slides, we can uh, explore our, uh, 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 our recommendation system. So here, uh, this is a personalized product recommendation that has been done using a movie graph. And uh, let's just see how we can use a, a movie data set in order to have recommendations. So just to give a quick overview for a new 4 j model, we have nodes we have labels we have relationships we have properties associated with those nodes in our uh, data the nodes are the movies actors directors users genre the relationships are acted in in genre directed and rated and the properties associated with these nodes are uh, title name year rating etc um, going ahead in order to make use of this model in order to make use of this data we use the cipher language where uh, using the cipher language we try to uh, access the database in the way in which we deem it most fit and uh, the way we would follow this tutorial is by using these code blocks which is uh, expected as part of the coding practice where we click here and uh, when we run this we get our basic response so the first one was basically matching movies that have the name matrix in it. And the way we did that step by step is first to find a relationship between movies and the one uh, that's been rated by users, right? So after we have done this, we found the relationship for movies that's been rated by users. The next filter that we need to use this user is the title that's matrix which is what we wanted after we do that we just count the number of paths matched for each movie and then uh, after returning it and ordering it in the descending order we find that these are the movies and because of our count aggregation functions we found the review for which these uh, uh, for which users have uh, given a review for the movies going ahead now here we try to personalize our recommendations. So there are basically two approaches to recommendation algorithms. The first one is content based filtering and the second one is collaborative filtering. In content based filtering, we recommend items that are similar to those that a user is viewing right now that are rated highly or that are purchased previously. So if we see this one, let's just, just try and run this one. We can see that the current movie, which has been the title given as net the, we have tried to find out relationships of other users, uh, where the relationship can be acted in or directed in or, uh, the genre in which it falls. And then we can see other, other, uh, relationships that the user with respect to this relationship has explored. So this helps us in finding similar characteristics or similar movies. This is the approach used in content-based filtering. The other type is collaborative filtering. What happens in uh, collaborative uh, filtering is the concept users, users who bought a particular thing can also, bought the other, uh, can also buy the other thing. The way we use it in our data is, uh, after running this query, the movie title right now is Crimson Tide. And we are finding users that actually uh, have rated the movie Crimson Tide. And what we'll do from that is that we will find an, other movies that's been rated by the user. And using these relationships, we could probably find, uh, uh, we can find a relationship there. So basically we'd get a result like this. Um, so that's collaborative filtering. Going ahead in content-based filtering, the goal of content-based filtering is to find similar items using attributes of the item, some attributes that we have to use. Using our movie data, one way we could define similarity is with movies with common genre. So here, uh, let's say there's this movie Inception. 
then we would try to using this cipher text what we are trying to do here is that uh, we can see what genre the current movie falls into and then we can find other uh, movies that fall into the similar genre now uh, the next thing is personalized recommendations based on genre so if we know that movies a user has watched we can use this information to recommend similar movies so let's say uh, we take a user angelica rodriguez and we find what movies have been rated by this so uh, user and after we find that we use that information in order to find out what other movies fall into the same genre as the genre uh, of the movies that this particular user has uh, uh, rated in this relationship so that's the kind now while these are the kind of uh, recommendations that are based on certain characteristics we have another content base that's based on similarity and we have when we have similarity metrics we have different type of metrics that we can use in order to find the similarity one of them is known as the jagad index so the jagad index uh, is given uh, as per the formula given here and it's a number between zero and one where uh, the more closer we are to one the more similarity the higher the similarity whereas the more the number inclines towards zero lower is the similarity and using this uh, making a query from the given uh, formula we try to find how similar the movies are and based on that a recommendation is provided on the same the next uh, the next uh, topic we cover in collaborating filtering is leveraging movie ratings so basically here this involves two steps the first step is finding similar users in the network and the second one now that we have similar users we assume that the similar users have similar preferences and what are the what are the movies those similar users like so basically the three steps can be carried on in this way in the first way we are just finding the movies that's been rated by a user rate misty williams in the second steps we find uh, these the average rating of these movies and uh, now that uh, we are assuming that similar users in the network would have similar preferences we will in the final one try to find out what are the movies that misty liked more than the average of the other users so as we can see from the cipher text the average cal calculated of misty's is uh, then used to find the uh, whether it's greater than the average of the basic rating of all the other users okay uh, coming ahead uh, we have collaborative filtering and the wisdom of crowds and the first one is simple collaborative uh, filtering where all we do is we take a user we find the uh, we find uh, the movie that the user has rated and then we find uh, other users who have rated the same movie and uh, this is a simple approach in uh, the next section we can uh, you know improve this approach by using the knn method which is calculated by uh, the least distance so this is about the uh, collaborative filtering in the using you know the wisdom of crowds now apart from the jacquard indexes we have uh, other similarity metrics one is the cosine similarity <laughs> so jacquard similarity was useful for comparing movies and is essentially comparing two sets however with movie ratings each relationship has a weight that we can consider as well that's when cosine similarity comes into picture the cosine similarity of two users will tell us how similar two user preferences for movies are users with a high cosine similarity with have similar preferences so converting that into cipher text can help us by uh, uh, by providing recommendations using the cosine similarity metrics and uh, similar to cosine similarity we have another metric measure known as the pearson similarity pearson similarity or pearson correlation is another similarity metric we can use this is particularly well suited for product recommendations because it takes into the it takes into account the fact that different users will have different mean ratings on average some users will tend to give higher ratings than others since pearson similarity considers differences about the mean this metric will account for these discrepancies 
so basically uh, it uh, based on the data and based on personal preferences one can go ahead with any similarity any similarity metrics they find most useful and uh, another sir, such approach is the knn which is the k nearest neighbors now that we have a method for finding similar users based on preferences the next step is to allow each of the k most similar users to vote for what items should be recommended essentially who are the 10 users which tastes in movies most similar to mine what movies they have rated highly that i haven't seen yet so what knn does is that it creates a cluster according to a preference and uh, the your nearest the what it means by nearest neighbors is the uh, is the top people with whom you have the most highest uh, common parameters to work with